This right here is the Replo dashboard. All of your Shopify stores are going to be their own project. So let's say you run a store that has multiple international stores. You're going to see each one of the international stores listed here. Um, let's say you run an agency. All of your clients are going to be listed out here as individual projects. If you need to connect a new store, you just have to hit the connect new store button. And then from there, let's click into a project and open up the editor. Now, this is the Replo editor. We're going to do a quick orientation of what everything is, and then we're going to dive right in. So the first thing you'll notice is the main canvas area. So this is where all of the page components live, your sections, your containers, your text, your images, etc. This is your canvas. This is where all of the real work will be done. On the left side at the top, you will see your list of pages. You're also going to see posts and sections, and we'll get to what each of those means in a bit. Um, but you're going to see all the different pages that are a part of your project. If you see this little green dot next to a page, that means it is published and currently live. Now we're going to click over to uh, the component section, and you're going to be able to see all the different things that you can pull into a page, text sections, images, other containers that you can drop elements into and, and change the sizing, shape, uh, properties, etc., buttons, so on and so forth. Maybe you want to drop in a product section and, you know, you want to have a collection list or um, you want to have, you know, price information. Maybe you have a subscription component or a ratings tool that you want to pull in. All of those components live here um, within the components tab. And you can just simply drag them into the editor wherever you need to place them. Going back to the layers section, uh, I'm going to show you the layers panel. So this is your page in all of its structure. So you've got at the very top the page element. So that kind of encapsulates everything that's on the page and then all the different sections and elements within it. So within these within this hero section, we've got these containers and we've got a pop up. We've got we've got going further. We've got text. We've got a Clavio embed for example. So, so all the different sub components and you can move things around just by clicking here into the editor, uh, into the canvas and dragging them around. Or you can also just move them around by clicking into the layers panel and moving them around that way. And then lastly, the thing to bring attention to is the uh, the edit panel. So this has things like how you can align the content on the page. If you have highlighted a text section, for example, you can change the font, you can change the colors, etc., um, and then all all the other positioning elements here. Now we're not going to go into all of the nuances of how you can style things in Replo in this video, but this is how you start to do a lot of your customization. All of the um, you know, if you want to create like a shadow effect or like a three D effect on a button, like this particular button has, you have the capacity to do so. As we go along, I will call out some of the other resources that we have available to you. But for now, we're going to keep rocking forward.